He said, come, anyone who wants must deny himself, take up his cross, follow me, no matter the cost be my heart, my hands, my voice. How are we living for Christ? How Gives the strength that it takes, and He knows the price that you pay. The life you've been called to will not be in vain. So don't be afraid, don't be afraid. He said, Come, anyone who wants must deny himself, take up his cross, follow me. Shackled in chains, in prison for sharing his name. If you should suffer for righteousness' sake, don't be afraid. No, don't be afraid. Anyone who wants to deny yourself, take up your cross, follow.
Southeast, good morning. We are so excited to be in your chapel once again. And this is actually the last chapel that you will see our faces in. And, you know, there's been tons of restrictions and we haven't been able to do these chapels live, but I know that I've been incredibly thankful to be able to be um, in your music time and, and middle school and your tribe time to be able to share our hearts with you. So I can't believe we only have one more week left and then we are finished for this year. And so I know already we have covered so much with you guys. We've been able to share so much with you. Um, this next week, there's some exciting things. We are gonna be making hair bows and we're gonna be writing letters and uh, making necklaces. So we still have one more week and Friday will be our last collection. So for those of you that have been waiting for this last week, now is the time to fill those bottles. And I can't even tell you guys how important it is. If you're, if you're sitting there and you're thinking, you know, everyone else is, is putting that change in. I don't, I don't know that I really need the help. I'm telling you together, when we partner together, that's when we see the biggest changes. And as you know, you know our hearts for Ethiopia and so many of you also have been given that heart for Ethiopia as well, just because of us sharing our hearts with you. And um, in the last chapel that we've had, and in the last group times that we've had, there's that song, and I know because it's, you guys probably know it through the years, but it's, be my heart, be my hands, and feet, feet, that's right. And so that is what we are doing. When, when we are being the heart of Christ, when you look at those pictures and those videos, there's no doubt that that touches the heart of God, those kids and those people that we can go out and help. And so I know that we are being in the heart of God as we reach out and we fill those bottles and we write those letters and make those hair bows. We are being the hands and feet of Christ. And that's what we're called to do. And so I, I just pray that this last week touches your heart in a way where not only are you just filling that water bottle, but that it's changing you from the inside out to where maybe you won't go with us ever to Ethiopia. That would be amazing, and one day you can, but if not, to be Christ's heart in our homes, in our neighborhoods, in our schools, and to reach out to those that desperately need help. And so, you know, some of the things that we have talked about over the past month that we should be grateful for are shoes. And you guys, as you're filling those bottles, thousands of kids, are going to be able to have maybe their first pair of shoes. And so that's incredible that we get to do that. That's right. And the hair bows, that's something so trivial is it it share it allows us to share the love of Christ with them. And so I just I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for um, not just filling those water bottles but also listening to us when we come in there and just hearing your comments and your questions. I know that God is tremendously working on your heart and I'm so excited to see what God has in store for you yeah. that's right and I've, I've so enjoyed you as I do every year and to see how uh, much some of you have grown it's like oh my goodness when I saw you it's like your faces have changed just in a year how much you've changed and one of the things that I think is so important if you've gotten nothing out of, else out of this is that you are responsible to find out what God wants for your life and to fulfill that most important thing you'll ever do in your life and we all make mistakes and sometimes we have to retract because we've made a mistake but right now at this age whatever age you are you need to decide God I'm gonna do what you want me to do with my life and whether that is in the work that you do and how kind you are to people and let them know how much Jesus loves them, or maybe you're called to ministry. Have you ever thought about that? Have you ever thought maybe God's talking to you? Maybe it's full-time ministry. Maybe it's ministry going on missions trips uh, with your church family, or maybe being a missionary and going and living with the people. Who knows what God wants for you, but your heart has to be open to listen to his voice. And, and so make sure 
If nothing else, through all of this, that you open your heart to what God wants for you. And that's one of the reasons why we do so much for children. Adults too, but we love the children. And so there might be thousands of toothbrushes going out or thousands of bars of soap or thousands of pieces of candy or uh, hair bows or whatever. But then there's um, the uh, small special group of kids that we chose that were uh, either their parents um, had to leave them with somebody else in the family or their parents died or something like that. And so we chose 32 of them. Mm -hmm. And so out of that 32, they some of them started that little, not anymore. Now we've got people as tall as Randy in that group. Those, the, especially those boys have grown so much. But what has happened for them is that because of your help, we've been sending them to school because over there you have to pay to go even to the public schools. You don't get to go for free. And you have to wear certain uniforms there and all of that. So we pay for the uniforms, we pay for their shoes. At Christmas time, just this last Christmas, they got brand new coats and they got to choose them, which I was so excited. And then a month before that, they were able to choose their own school shoes. You wouldn't believe some of the stuff that was chosen. It was just cute. And then we feed them, and then our staff over there helps them with English, with their homework, to make sure they're staying caught up in school, and to encourage them to be in church every Sunday, make sure that they're doing what they're supposed to do. It's a wonderful program, and you're part of that, too. You're so part of everything that we do. I'm Randy Kunkel with Touching Africa Ministries. I've been with them since 2009. 12 years I've been on uh, the last, what, 10 mm -hmm. trips to Africa. I'm in charge of the construction. Part of that is the water systems. I wanted to let you know why we do the water systems. When we first started going, there were so many children sick. They were bloated bellies, running eyes and noses, and they they were very deathly sick. We had to figure out a way to get them clean water. God opened the door for us. And we got these gravity fed water filtration systems. When I go back to villages and schools now, those little children that were ill are running around playing. Mm -hmm. They're learning, they're using the school supplies we bring them. That's right. And their lives are enriched. Absolutely. So we're putting shoes on their feet. They get sick because their feet get all cut up. They get sick from the water. We're bringing them health. First of all, we're bringing the love of Christ to them. That's right. But through this, we're opening doors. So God has opened so many doors. We're going into men and women's prisons mm -hmm. now over there. He just keeps opening up doors for us. It's been several years since I've been able to talk to you guys. <laughs> and one of my favorite memories is when the second grade prayed for me. Wow. <laughs> you guys touched me. Still touches me yeah. today. <laughs> I'll, I hope to see you guys on Tuesday. We love you. And uh, Jesus loves you too. Thank you so much for being a part of this endeavor to raise the money we need to do what we do in Africa. You know, administration, thank you. Thank you for believing in us and, and standing with us. Yeah. Teachers, I couldn't do it without you could not do this without you. Thank you for uh, for encouraging and motivating the kids in your class to participate. And parents, if you're able to watch this, couldn't do it without you either. I mean, thank you for, for helping find creative ways for your children to raise the money to participate in this program. You know, you can never go wrong giving to God. Never. You can't miss it. You can't miss it. And, and as been said already, it's it's not just about raising the money. Our heart is far bigger than that. We're wanting to touch your life. We're wanting to, to make sure that we do everything possible to position you to hear God's voice. I do know this, I know God's got a plan for you. I know his plan is absolutely incredible. I, I wish we could all see each other's plan all the way to the to the end, but, but we can. It's a one day at a time adventure with the Holy Spirit. And kids, listen. One of these days, 
one of these days when when we all get to heaven some Ethiopian's going to come up to you tap you on the shoulder and say thank you I'm here because of you you helped send touching Africa to tell me Jesus loves me you helped put the first pair of shoes on my feet that I've ever had because of you I had clean water to drink and I wasn't sick all the time thank you thank you we have 53 missionaries that are up on the border of South Sudan and <clears throat> they're busy evangelizing and and sharing Jesus with people you know they're telling us that that the story of Christianity has never reached that border before and there's nine million people that live across uh, along that border and they're hearing about Jesus for the very first time I think I told one of the classes this last week um, they don't know the name Jesus he might as well be named Peter or George because Jesus means nothing to them they've never heard his name but as they hear his story by the thousands they're coming to Christ and we're planning churches I, the last report that we receive we receive every four months a report from our missionaries the last report we receive we have 1,945 churches built planted along that border you know what that means guys that means that 1,945 villages and communities now have a touching Africa church ministry going on, reaching out into that community and into to that village. And, and again, it's because of help that you give us. Our missionaries, they pay a great price. It's, it's really hard up on the border. I mean, suffering probably doesn't even cover what they go through on a daily basis. Right now, there's a lot of violence on the border, and some of them have had to take their families into the forest just to hide from the kill squads that are sweeping through that region. And yet, not one of them has quit. Not one. They're hiding from kill squads. They're suffering without food because they're displaced from their village. Some of them, their, their homes have been burned to the ground. Some of our churches have been burned to the ground during this time of violence but not one has quit. They've stayed in the calling that God gave to them. Let that be an example to us. You know, life does get hard sometimes, and sometimes it's, it's not easy to, to make it through things that, that are challenging us. But let's take the missionary's example and let's don't quit. Stay the course, stay engaged and doing what God wants you to do. You know, it matters. What we're doing matters. What you're doing matters. And it's a partnership. It's a collective partnership that we're doing this together. You know, the Bible says when, you, when you've done it to the least of these, Jesus said, you've done it unto me. Well, when you put shoes on a child's foot that's never had a pair of shoes out in the village that may not even have clothes on, you just put shoes on Jesus. You gave him a clean cup of water to drink. You've done it unto him. And, you know, it also talks about the reward if you give a cup of cold water in my name, Jesus speaking, in my name, you will get the reward of the one to whom you given it and it was directed at, at preachers prophets and that you realize guys that whatever rewards we're going to get our team is going to get because of our work in missions in Ethiopia do you know you're going to get the same reward the same thing even though you've never gone with us you're going to get the same thing God loves what you're doing and I just thank you for doing it. And I ask you, even after our time is over, get involved in helping people. That's what it's all about. Let, let me pray for you. My Father, I, I come to you in Jesus' name. And I thank you for this school. I thank you for the administration, for the teachers. I thank you for the parents. I thank you for each student and what they're doing to help you. Oh, it's 
helping Tam, but it's higher than that. It's helping you to be your hands, your feet, and, and your voice in a place where they don't know you. So I thank you. And I ask you, Father, bless this school as a whole. Bless the families of, of each of the students and the teachers. Meet them all at the point of their need. Do something absolutely incredible in and through them. And Father, I guess the biggest thing, the biggest thing I'm going to ask you to do is touch their hearts to serve you. Speak to them. Maybe, maybe some of them are going to be missionaries. Maybe some will go into the ministry. Maybe some will go into the marketplace and, and tell your story in whatever job they have. Or as a homemaker, they'll tell your story and, and do that which would honor and please you. So, Father, I thank you for giving us the opportunity to talk about you and what you do to people who are in need and how you love and help them. And the instruments that you use, whether it's touching Africa or whether it's a school. Thank you. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Have a great day and God bless you.